everybody and welcome back to Sensory Centers and today we are going to be playing barbershop or beauty shop and doing paper bag haircuts. So what paper bag haircuts is, is you just draw a face on a paper bag and then cut some strips into the top part. So the bottom part is where you're going to want to draw your face and then at the top is where you're going to want to cut strips. Now depending on how old your child is, they could cut the strips themselves. If not, you could cut them and hand them to them. And there's a couple of different ways that you can use this activity. If they are of cutting age, they can of course cut the strips themselves and then they could decide to give an additional haircut. They could, you know, cut across or cut lines into the hair or whatever they would really want to do. If they are not of cuttable age yet, they could always uh, just fold haircut designs. They could fold some of the front down and make bangs, or they could, you know, uh, fold them together and do something. You could even start to maybe learn braiding with it, you know, if you were really dexterous or whatever. Um, but this, after you draw the face on it and you cut the thing into it, I mean, this gives them the opportunity they could just, you know, I'm making a huge mess. They could just cut straight across and give the bag, you know, a haircut. Or they could use markers and they could color it in and give the bag a haircut that way. If they're really into it, they could maybe get some tape and tape up a style, pigtails, ponytails, uh, anything that they would want to do. But this is good for cutting practice. It's uh, fun, a, a fun alternative, especially if your child is interested in cutting or interested in hairstyles so that they stay away from stuffed animals, Barbie dolls, and of course their own heads. This gives them maybe an opportunity to practice those skills that they seem to be so interested in but without any real harm done to anything important at home. If you can come up with other ways to use this or do this activity, please share. Um, those are the ones that I came up with, but sometimes you know, our patrons have really great ideas too, uh, and we love sharing them with each other. So hopefully you enjoyed this quick sensory centers activity, and we can't wait to see you back at the library soon. Have a great day.